Good morning, YouTube. I've been missing that action. I've been really been had to, you know, keep out on my girl. She's in heat, and you know, when they pee, they leave sand and the wind blow it. So I've been really into keeping out on my girl. I apologize for missing that action. Um, this today is one on one about dogs. Prime example of dogs I done had. Prime example of dogs I done seen. Um, you know, just, just, just basically about dogs. Um, so we're going to start this today and I'm going to say that I appreciate you guys watching me on YouTube. Thumbs up to the people that dislike me and think that I'm trying to build my channel up off somebody else. No, I just don't like people to say something about somebody else and they doing the same thing. So that's that's the reason of that. But we 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 gonna get past that. We're gonna move on to this 2020. We all alive. And so okay, so I done had I didn't had well people I, a person my cousin them sold me a dog that they said was Eli Bloodline and she was cool. She was cool. I mean she was cool. She had her, she had her little issues. It wasn't really like, like, she wasn't really dog aggressive. She wasn't really no aggression. Like, she really didn't have no aggression in her. You know, she would, you know, if a dog irritate none and all that, she really didn't, she wasn't really aggressive. Like, she was, she was cool. Now, my... A dog I bought from a guy in a, from a junkyard that was, uh, he was Nicarino bloodline. He was a Tiger Stripe boy. Now, he was an instigator. Like, he was a real instigator. Like, he basically, he basically, you know, he was very, very aggressive. Like, he wanted to fight my, because at the time I had this, I had the uh, Eli girl and a Nigarino boy, and I wanted to breed my Eli girl, but it wasn't really like, it really wasn't too much that I seen out that I liked it, and then people wanted three other puppies, and three other puppies, they wanted the first two pigs, and I, and I was like, no, because I want a male, so if you get, I want to have the first pick. So I ended up buying the boy, and he was educated. Like, when he was, like, probably he was, like, four or five months, I think between four and a half to five months, I had him and the, the Eli girl in the backyard, and she used to let him just pull on it. Like, he used to grab a skin shaker. He want her puppy. She ain't, she was, that's why I say she was cool with it. So, one day they was in the backyard and I was in the house. And it was dark and I kept on seeing this white shadow. I kept on seeing my dog. Because she was like, she was like white with, with gray patches. And, um... I kept on seeing it, so I was like, okay, I didn't pay attention. I'm like, maybe she playing with a little toy back there or something like that. Then I was one, I'm like, well, so I waited maybe, it was maybe about a minute, minute, minute and a half. And um, I went back to the window, and she was still shaking. I'm like, nah, she needs somebody to anticipate. So I went out there, and the Tiger Stripe boy, she had to buy a stroll, and I'm like, and I tell her, I say, I say, let him go. And she let him go, and the first thing I heard him do was, <sighs> so I just instantly grabbed him up. Like, she didn't punch him, no, like, he, she didn't punch him, she just 
took her her mouth and was holding on to his his, his breathing. And I split them up because I was like, I could tell that he had that 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 in him because he did. That's all he used to want to do. Want to do is grab another dog, grab another dog. That's all he wanted to do. He wasn't nothing but a puppy. He wanted to grab another dog. So I knew that that wasn't gonna work out because I'm like, okay, now she he didn't bring out where she's shaking him. So I was like, well, I don't want that. I don't want that. But I'm like, well, I just waited till she come in heat, and then I'm gonna muzzle him and uh, you know muzzle both of them and. So I moved over to my sister's house, and she had a girl over there. She had a a white. She did. She had a white and black. I can't remember what kind of pit bloodline it was, cause I wasn't really, you know. So I was like, you know. So since he was over, there, I was like, well, you know, they was like, well, she and he, and he was, he was like nine months old. So I was like, well, if he stick to it, then. You know, that's what it is. So I had one other one day to feed him, and I'm going back there to feed him. And he stuck with it. So I, was, I told dude, I was like, well, you know, they're going to have puppies. So when he had his puppies, I didn't I didn't take nothing off. I told my sister she can have the two out of the litter. And she didn't want them. So, so her her stepson got to keep the whole little body wasn't trimming off because I had the daddy, and I knew he was good. His body looked so good. He was just man. He was he was like I ain't gonna lie to you. Tiger, I think Tiger was like fifty five pounds solid. Yeah, he was fifty five solid. Then my uh Eli girl. I ain't gonna lie to you. I think she was like, I think I think the most she ever was was like, like on a good time. I think she was probably like, she was probably like sixty sixty one solid. Like what I with my dog, I ain't gonna lie to you. I think that every like when you look at their weight, you will believe their weight because it's like. I'm putting I'm putting the weight on, but it's like it's just like a, a bigger person. Like you 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 got all this weight and you working it, so it's like it's getting solid. So it's like when, when you be like, "Why well, weigh this? How much?" People like, I "Don't look like you weigh that much." That's because it's solid. So I you know I had some good dogs. Like my dog now, lady, my American staff. Now she. She good all the way around. Like, she good all the way around. Tiger was good all the way around. Like, if I could have that Tiger Stripe boy and her together, oof. That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. My Tiger Stripe, uh, Niggerino Blood, if I had him and my girl I got now, even though they two different breeds, they'd still make some beautiful puppies. Like they make because her body and his body together, his head, her head together, his muzzle, her muzzle, his feet, her feet. Because he was a he was a real like people be saying, oh, they they think I don't know nothing about American pit bull. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. I was born in 1984. If you don't know what that mean, that mean I'm 36 years old. When I was growing up, that's all I knew. That like that's all my uncle had. That's all my uncle had. That's just the only thing I know. Like I'm being one hundred with y'all. Like people don't believe that. That's all I know. Like so I just see people that's like like I my uncle like a lot of people, if you ever realize that you go on a page and you see the dogs that they putting into work and then you see the ones that they be like, Well, this dog is the grandma, you like, dang that dog bigger than all the rest of them. That's the size they really be. The size when you see the retired dogs or the grandparents, 
that's the original sign. The reason that's because that dog is not being put on the treadmill. That dog not on probably not on chain weight no more. None of that, and and, and they you know it just happens. But a dog, a, a a real a real dog, and another thing. Listen, another thing. Let me tell you something like this. I looked at because people been saying stuff about people that get getting. getting took it by the pound dog been took by the pounds. They dogs look like majority listen, let me tell you something. Reason they say like a lot of them they take the dog, they say underweighted. That's their look that look that everybody want is the look that they, that make them put their charge. It's not like people saying like it's 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 the it's the choice. Now some of them dogs they have scores, but you gotta think about this. You when you got when you got more than one dog, okay, prime example, if I got another female, it's ladies two, two and a half years old. If I got another female that was two and a half years old, oh, both of them bitches have scores because at the day they got to claim dominance. Now, that's something that the, the part of the situation is a lot of people don't know this. You can't, like... You just got you just got to be careful what you do and how you do it. You just got to be careful. Like you can't just be like like okay, prime example is if you see a dog with a score and it's with his sibling, what you do is you sit back and you take an hour, hour and a half out your day, and you see what puppy in that in that bunch that's 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 doing the damage, and when you see that, you take that puppy. If you're gonna keep it, you take the puppy. You you put it over somewhere else. If you're gonna sell that puppy somewhere else, then you take that puppy. You split them up. The part of the situation is, if 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 they start fighting each other, and we're gonna say they start shaking each other, we gonna say about four weeks, five weeks, and you keep a puppy to us eight weeks. That's three weeks. Three weeks, three weeks, it's twenty, it's twenty one days. So you got to think about twenty one days of that dog attacking that other dog. It is leaving scores. So you got, you got, you got to work. You got to learn how to maintain and, and do it. Like, okay, prime it up with me. I told y'all the truth when I found out that Tiger and Princess was having a problem with each other. I split them up. Because at the end of the day, I don't want them scores because at the end of the day, them scores will send you to jail. Because the proof to them and to the court people is the scores. The scores. And then this the part of it. See, a lot of people don't know it's okay. Okay, they say pit bulls put the max out at 60 pounds. So we're going to say... They bring a pit bull from your house, and it's supposed to be 60 pounds, and we're going to say it's 40 pounds. That's 20 pounds underweight to them. That's 20 pounds. To them, that's 20 pounds underweight. And listen, 20 pounds. Let's price it up. Look at it like this. From this day forward, I'm going to give y'all some knowledge. Look at it like this. You got a dog 20 pounds underweight, plus it has scores. They don't go to that that because guess what? Even though listen, let me say something to you. Even though you don't fight your dog, okay, majority of the okay, now, this is what a lot of people don't tell you, and a lot of people don't let you know this. Do you know that a lot of time when they call people with the dog fighting stuff, they had police a part of it? See, this is the point of it. They would take a dog from a person that in fault, and they would show it off. They would never listen. They would never, they would never fight it, but they'll show it off. Like, they use that as advertising. Just like, just like prime example with how the police catch you and certain things like they 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 tie themselves into it to catch you see that's what a lot of people don't let people know that's a lot of people got caught like that okay put like this it's the same thing as when when a person say a scat a under, they sold what well, they say they sold to an undercover cop 
they got undercover cops in, in everything, dude. This is 2020. The listen, the words that come out your mouth will criminate you. Your the 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 size of your dog will criminate you. The scars on your dog will criminate you. See, that's what people don't say. So you can't give them. Listen, you put put like this. I can't call myself a killer, and then have a video up, and I'm beef with some dudes, and and. I'm telling them, I'm telling them, well, I killed dudes such and such, such on such such street. I'm incriminating myself right there. You can't incriminate yourself at the end of the day. This is one-on-one -on -one about, about dogs. This is one-on-one -on -one about that. You know what I'm saying? You can't, listen, let me tell you something. If nobody knows this, 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 this is what they take dogs for. No food, no water, uh, no shelter. Uh, common weather. That mean like if it's too hot, that's that's the neglect. If it's too cold, that's neglect. Chains. They look for so. Listen, let me tell you something like this. I'm gonna give y'all some knowledge to help y'all. They look for so much to be able to take your dog. Somebody call. Even though look, a person can call say your dog be outside and your dog has a good shelter. But your dog got a score on his on his foot. So now they not, not, they all they need to do is find a source. So you don't give nobody a source to be able to, to do that to you. I do do I feel sorry for them dogs and the people that they locked up? Yes I do. Because at the end of the day, both of them are suffering. Like people say the dog suffering, the person suffering too, because at the end of the day, you gotta do you gotta do time from that. So me when I get a dog, I play like this. I feel like this. I'm gonna treat my dog good because at the end of the day, everybody ain't gonna like me. Everybody ain't like me. Somebody might have a dog and it might not look good as mine. And they might just get mad and call the people on my dog because they cause they don't like me. They don't got nothing to do with the dog. They don't got nothing to do with the dog. Them same people, listen, let me tell you something like this. Them same people, the animal right people and all that, they will, listen, they will, okay, like, say if I had some puppies, right, and I was a bad owner, okay, and, and they come and they take the puppies and they see a puppy, they like, they'll wait until the pound new to that puppy, and then they'll take my puppy and keep it. You cannot do that. This is one on one about dogs. Like I'm giving y'all the, the 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 hardcore truth. The hardcore truth. You shouldn't listen. Like I'm proud up with. I feel like this. If you breeding dogs, and it's a source of income. If 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 you can't. Buy the necessary things to keep. Okay, put like this. If you've been owning a kennel for we're gonna say we're gonna say two three years, and you sell the puppies for fifteen hundred a puppy, and we gonna say you sell them for fifteen hundred a puppy, and you may in in a year. You done bought your car, you know, upgrade some in your house, but your kennel spot still look the same. And your 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 dog houses are falling apart. Uh you barely have the money for dog food. Then your next breeding should go straight to us. Like if you breed again, your next breeding you should say, Well, if I make if I make five thousand my my bills only gonna be like fifteen hundred. I'm gonna take the rest of that because I know I'm gonna have a, some more income coming in. You take at least about a out of out of just you just take money and you put into it. Like okay, you put in like put three thousand into it. You know what I'm saying? Like three. You not even let if you do it right. <clears throat> okay, put like this. If you do it right. It won't take you. But a lot of people, 
it might take them, it might, it might to, to fix a lot of the stuff that need to be fixed because they didn't let it lack for so many years. What did it cost like three grand? It might cost them like 12,000 if they do it right. But you can't, like, you can't, this is one on one about dogs. Like, you cannot do what you want to do and, and expect, like, okay, prime example is, I would never, ever, Ever. I don't care what I don't care what state you're in. If I want to buy my puppy, I want to come to your to your setup. Second of all, a lot of people don't tell you this. I don't buy puppies because from people that I really can't see. Because I can I can buy a puppy. I think oh it's quiet. It's gonna be something. It's gonna be something else. And that puppy can be sick. It can be sick. And I have another dog, and then whatever it bring in, it bring in, and then it kill my other dog or make my other dog sick. I want a dog that's energized so I can know when it go down two or three days, 21 days, two days, two months down the line, I know some, when something's going wrong so I can be able to get that dog some help if I can get it some help. If I can get it some help. But... I just, my, my thing is just love yourself and first of all, love the dogs. If you're going to be a dog person, if you're going to say, okay, put it like this, Brian Zappoy. We have people out here that say people shouldn't label as they self a dog man or dog dad. If you, listen, if you know the passion and you see and you hear the positive of people saying how your dogs look, you already been labeled as. It don't take nobody on YouTube to tell you what you are. If I've been doing this. Listen, I have, listen, out of all the dogs I ever had, my dogs was trained, and I didn't take it to nobody at BD in school. I did it all myself. So when I say I'm a dog man, I really am a dog man. I am. I read the back of dog food. I read. I read all that. I do. I look up new things that I can do with my dog that's not gonna hurt her or harm her. That like that she probably like because I am really into satisfying that dog happiness. And in, in, in the process of me satisfying that happiness, do I want a puppy inside of her? Yes, I do. It's nothing wrong with that because I feel like I want I want a offspring I want a male and a female offspring of her because she's awesome she's awesome she's a she's a she's something that it, put like this my dog can be a house dog or a apartment dog that's how good her breed is that's how good she is like you don't have to stay in the house all you gotta do is make sure you let her let them out. Uh, uh, every day just to let out some energy. You know, you let them out in the back or take them for a walk. Boom, they cool. They cool. See, my goal of breeding a dog is to give you something that you look for coming home to see. That can, can be in or out, dog. If you what you prefer, my goal to me breeding is to breed you something that if you want it to protect your house, it has a nice weight and it has a nice and it's going to do what it's supposed to do. Now, at the day, you can always listen. When I sell my puppies, anybody them sell my puppies too. If you want your dog to be uh, protect your house, I will do it because guess what? The killer part about the situation is it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that. At the end of the day, when I teach you, when I teach you how to make your dog people aggressive, I'm going to teach you that it's going. It's it's like a a core. It got to be stored. It's not just going to store itself up. Now, yeah, when you when it comes to its home, it's going to. Yes, it is. Every animal is dominant by where they live at. It could be on a chain. It could be in your house. Yes, it is because that's that's its spot and it feel like this. So your dog, your dog feel 
when you let out, listen, you let out a scent. And people don't know this. When, when a dog, a lot of times, like, a dog can scent that you up to no good. And then, and another thing is, another thing happens is a lot of dogs get, can, they, they actually, this part hurts my feelings the most. You, they take brother and sister, and they, and they, and they messing up the chemical balance in their brain. So when I say that, and what I'm saying is, they say dog can be done like that. Okay, pray up with. In the white, listen. When wolves used to do that, that's why you can see a wolf right now. A person can own a wolf. Back in the days, you couldn't own a wolf. That's because when you let brothers and sisters breed together, you are killing some balance in their brain. You're you're throwing off genes in their brain that shouldn't be threw off. You throwing it off so bad that it's that this dog grow up and it attack his own owner. Because guess what? It's a it can they the balance messed up. So it's like. It could be, listen, this prime that for you. That dog can wake up one morning and be scared of its owner. And if it's on a move or anybody move, it's attacking it. Because it's brother and sister bred together. Why would you do that? Now, when I, if I'm going to breed, I'm going to breed. I will take my girl and breed it to another male. Then I will take a, a male out of her. By him a female. And then I would breed them together. Then I would take her grandson back to her. Then if I took a puppy out of there, if I took a puppy out of there, I would take that puppy. And I would breed her to her granddaddy. Because I'm inbreed and outbreed. But I'm keeping the outbreed more. It's more. I'm, I'm keeping my outbreed more for the back than, than inbreed. I'm not going to like. And then. I'm gonna take then once I once I breed once I do that, then I will take the girl, like I will take my my female, right? That I never breed. And you will say, why would I breed her? Why would I breed her? The way I'm gonna breed her, and read how I breed her is, I would take, I would take her nephew, and breed him to her, because at the end of the day, this how it's going. The 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 brother and sister shares mom and daddy, but they mom and daddy don't have the same genes. Then when I then I then it go like this. Then her nephew has his own mother. So there go two there go there go two different out crosses. Two different out crosses. Then I'm going in. When I go in, I'm going in as nephew to auntie. So that means that they share. They only share. Uh, her daddy is his granddaddy. Her daddy is his granddaddy. And watch how my puppies come out of look. Watch how they, they, they still going to be the same. You know why they still going to be the same? Because I have this out cross by twice. I got it cross, I got it out by twice because at the end of the day, they sure 
they only sharing what a puppy really sharing is really because he got his own mama. Well, they sharing really, yeah, they sharing grandma and granddaddy. But the daddy from a different line, so that's how I'm going to do it. Because that's, that's just the way I would do it. I wouldn't take brother and sister and, and, and do it. No. Because I'm not I'm not throwing out nothing. Okay, yeah, they got different, but they got whatever. Okay, we're going to say the mama blue, the color blue, or the daddy color blue, and it's purple. Okay, so now I got purple. Then I bring purple and blue back together. See, my plan is to do orange, blue, pink, and white. And then take my pink and bring it into my into my orange or my white you know bring it into each other because i can't do that like people don't understand that like you just gotta think about the dog might wake up one day and forget who you are forget who you are and that's not that's not right like your your dog should never forget who you are your dog should never forget who you are like it, it's not that like people say, oh, pigs turn on their owner. No, them are inbred dogs that don't, that they mind is jacked up. Like a lot of people don't know that. No, it's 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 what you do to the dogs. It's not, it's not what the dogs have in them. It's what you do to them. It's what you do to them. People, excuse me. People want to have a certain bloodline. To me, it's not a certain bloodline. Like, when I breed my dog, it's not the bloodline. It's, I want to give people <clears throat> that when people come over your house and they see your dog, they want to know what breed you got that dog from. Where did that dog come from? And they want to purchase one. My plan is for you to purchase something that you're going to love. Not something that you're going to be like, oh, it's dog hoard, man, train, or nothing like that. When I sell my puppy, I'm going to give you a 12-step owl for, the, for all the way up to a year. Now, out of the 12, whichever one you skip, that's on you. But I'm going to tell you how to teach you to sit down, how to teach you to do everything that they need to be done. I'm going to teach you that. So, 